Hello, so I will be reading Westward Bound and then at the end of the story I'm gonna ask you some questions from the story that I read. So, after the Civil War, many African American people wanted a chance for a new life. Many of them were former slaves so they had no land or homes of their own. They were free but they wanted to be able to live like other free people. They wanted the same things that other free people had always had. There weren't many places in the South where African American people could find these things. Most of the good farmland was already owned by other people. Besides, many African Americans didn't have enough money to buy homes or land. It was during this period that many of them began to look west. These African American people wanted to have land of their own to build homes. Some wanted land to grow crops. They wanted, they wanted to find new places to live. They heard that many parts of the western United States had not been settled. This unexplored land was called the frontier. There were many cities in the west. There were large areas of land that could be used to grow crops. These African Americans decided to travel to the west to make their homes. And here we have a picture of what that sort of looked like back then during um, after the Civil War. The first people who traveled to the frontier were called pioneers. Some pioneers were African American people from the South. These pioneers were excited to see how the West was different from the land they knew. They were also a little scared to travel to a new place. Many of the pioneers who traveled to the West planned to be farmers. They wanted to build homes and begin new lives. And here we have a picture of them um, traveling. The pioneers took with them all the things they would need in their new home. They carried food to last them through their journeys. They carried cloths to make new clothes. They carried tools to fix things that broke. They carried pots and pans and other supplies. After many months, the pioneers found a place to make their homes. Usually, several families worked together to build houses. The pioneers became known as settlers. They were called settlers because they settled down or made homes in a new place. They formed small communities and helped each other. Some pioneers built log, log cabins, some built sod houses. The kinds of houses they built depended on the amount of trees there were where they decided to live. When there were no trees, pioneers used sod. Sod, ho sod houses were made of blocks of dirt cut from the ground. Pioneers could build good houses with these blocks. A log cabin was very simple. The walls were made of logs. Even the roof of the cabin was made of logs. Settlers used mud to fill in the cracks between the logs. This kept the wind, rain, and snow from blowing into the cabin. And here we have a family with um, some sod houses in the back. Settlers' houses were sturdy but simple. Most had only one room. The cooking, eating, and sleeping were all done in the same room. The houses had fireplaces where the pioneers cooked their food. The heat from the fireplace also kept the pioneers warm during cold winters. After the settlers built their houses, they started to work on the land. They prepared their fields where they wanted to plant crops. Then they plowed the soil and planted seeds. The settlers knew that if they cared for their seeds, they would soon have crops of corn and wheat. Here we have a picture of inside the houses with um, the fireplace. Pioneers couldn't carry any furniture with them when they moved. They had to build new furniture when they got to their new homes. They used wood to build beds, tables, and chairs for their houses. Sometimes the pioneer women made rugs to cover the floors of their cabin. They also made colorful quilts or covers for the beds. And then here's a picture of uh, the table. Or their dining area, better said. Um, living on a pioneer settlement took a lot of hard work. Everyone had chores to do. Usually, the pioneer women did the cooking. They would cook their food in the fireplace. Sometimes, women cooked outdoors. The pioneers would use the food they brought with them to make their meals. The pioneers also would eat beans, corn, potatoes, and other fruits and vegetables they grew on their farms. 
So here we have um, two people farming outside. The pioneer men had chores too. They took care of the wagons and the animals. Most African American families didn't have many horses. The mules, oxen, sheep, and other animals needed to be fed and cared for. The men would prepare the land for farming by using plows. When the crops were ready, the men would harvest the fruits and vegetables. And here we have a picture of a barn and some donkeys, it looks like. Even the pioneer children had chores to do. They milled cows and carried water from streams. They washed the dishes, helped gather wood for the fire, and stacked it next to the fireplace. Some helped cook the food. Some took care of their younger brothers and sisters. Others helped care for the animals. When the pioneer children finished their chores, they played games and such, such as jump rope and tag. And here we see some of the kids um, doing some chores. Some pioneer children went to school. Most of these schools had one room and one teacher. Children of different ages were taught in the same room at the same time. They would learn about reading, writing, and math. And here we have um, one of the schools, and it looks pretty similar to a, to a house. The schools didn't have many supplies. Often, the children didn't have anything to use to write their lessons. They were... They would repeat their lessons out loud. Sometimes pioneer children had to walk long distances to school. Here we have another picture of a little boy. And it looks like he has like an, an old instrument in his hand. Right here. More and more African-American pioneers traveled to the West. Many of them hoped to find opportunities in the West that they couldn't find in the South. Some African-American settlers built towns of their own. Others moved to towns that were already there. Eventually, many of these settlers became teachers, cowboys, mail carriers, and police officers. And that's the end of Westward Bound. So some questions I have are... Um, so why did African American um, pioneers move to the West? So what was the reason they decided to move from their homes all the way to the West? And then describe a pioneer home. So describe like what the house looked like, what they used to build it and all that. And then what kind of chores did pioneer children have? So the women usually cooked either inside or outside. And then the men, um, they helped take care of the animals. So what did the children do? What was their job to do? So write all this down, write out all your answers, or you can talk to someone about the story and your answers. Thank you.